Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the service, and specifically, I want to talk to you about the use of the body and to get a spring-like energy to add speed and power into your serve. Because generally, we all talk about the knee bend and pushing up from the ground, and we talk about the arm action, but that means that the power in your serve is generated from the legs and from the arm, with the body just allowing that power to go through it to deliver speed into the ball. But when we look at the pro players, they're doing way more than that with their body. They're creating a huge amount of power from the body itself. I want to show you what that source of power is and how you can put it into your serve almost immediately to serve faster, more powerfully and easier today. When we look at most recreational players, what happens is that we might have a knee bend, but the shoulders are staying pretty much parallel to the sideline or the side fence. And then we have the leg drive and the swing and we make the serve. But when you look at the pros, there's a different movement. It's a very much more complicated movement with rotation of the upper body and the lower body in opposite directions. What's happening with this is a combination of centrifugal and centripetal force. I'll just give you an example. If I spin my racket on my hand here, then if it was a roundabout, if you were in the middle of the roundabout, then you would be watching the world go by. And you would be held there watching the world go by with centripetal force. But if you're on the outside of the roundabout, you would be hanging on for dear life because that centrifugal force pushing you away. Now, in the serve, the legs want to be a demonstration of centripetal force pushing the body in that direction. But the upper body wants to rotate in the opposite direction. So we have centripetal force and centrifugal force. And then they come together to create a huge amount of power. A clear example of this might be, imagine if I was holding a spring in my hand and I just turn the spring and it just turns. But if I was holding that spring in my hands and I turn it one way from this hand and one way from the other and then let go, now it would have a huge amount of energy. This is what we want to achieve with your serve. And now I'm gonna try and show you how to do it. The first part is the upper body. And in the upper body, if my foot here is pointing at more or less a 45 degree angle, somewhere along there, everybody's a little bit different, then what I want to do is I want to rotate my shoulders into that 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna line my shoulders up with the foot. And now I have the centrifugal force or potential the centrifugal force from my upper body to rotate into the ball. But at the same time as that, the lower body has to be pushing in the opposite direction. What many people will do when they try to make this movement is they'll coil the whole body, the lower body and the upper body in that same direction. And this has no effect and advantage whatsoever. But I'm doing something different. As my upper body is coiling to the foot, and line up with it, my lower body is actually pushing in the opposite direction. And to do this, I'm just gonna turn around in this direction so you can see clearer. To do this, I want you to bring your right foot almost up into a ballet style, style movement here. So look, I coil my shoulders and my foot goes to here. Again, I coil my shoulders, and my foot goes to here. Now, if I'm facing the camera, you can see that my lower body is ready to push forwards, but my upper body has coiled away. See how I'm making the lower body is moving in that direction and the upper body is coiling in this direction. I'm now working with Kira, who's just 10 years old. This is her serve when we began. And you can see that it's a good service action, especially for a 10 years old, but the upper body and lower body are working in harmony to produce this nice serve but now she's trying to make the coil. And the natural thing to do as she makes this coil is for the front foot to turn. See how the front foot turns? And so it really stops the movement of the lower body and the movement of the upper body going in different directions. So now I've placed a little beaker of water and she has to avoid knocking the water over with her foot. So she can't turn the lower body with the upper body. And now what she's got is the lower body pushing against the upper body. 
creating torque and potential power. And now we're trying to get the right foot to raise in that ballet-like motion and then push into the serve. And once again, raise into that ballet-like motion and then go into the serve. Once again, raise the foot in that ballet-like motion and then push into the serve. You can see on screen here Sharapova making exactly the same movement, creating a hugely different movement from the lower body and the upper body. The lower body is pushing around and up, and the upper body is coiling backwards, ready to recoil into the serve. When you put these two movements together, it takes a little time, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, not days, not weeks, 30 or 40 minutes. Concentrate on finding the lines that your shoulders line up with your foot and that your right foot raises like a ballet type motion and then put the two together and hit the serve and you will be amazed how easy and fast the serve will become. Your racket will actually feel lighter in your hand as the energy delivered from the body through the arm will power your serve instead of you powering it with the muscles and just the strong part of the arm. I hope this makes sense and you can see in Kira's serve here the huge difference that it makes as she gets the upper body and the lower body going in different directions using different forces to power her serve and get an easier and faster serve. And if you like my ideas, check out our books on Amazon. We provide a detailed breakdown of the biomechanics, physics, and the anatomy of the strokes, and then provide really simple solutions such as this one, showing you how you can take your game to the next level. We use great and simple illustrations that make it really clear and really easy to apply. And if you're serious about change, have a look at our online coaching program. We're helping players all over the world of all ages and all levels. We do a one-to-one -one online meetings and then we provide detailed video analysis and then personalized videos such as this that will help take your game to the next level. So, for your serve to reach its real potential, make sure that you're combining centripetal force and centrifugal force. Rotate your lower body forwards into the ball. Rotate your upper body away from the ball and then combine these motions and you will have a faster, easier and way better serve almost immediately. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.